a very good afternoon to one and all present here i hope you all are safe and healthy i atin handuja president of justice remedem welcome you all to the first session uh, on the topic mediation can mediation be credible alternative or complement to arbitration our guest speaker is ms shreya roda mehta judge at delhi judicial services and secretary at delhi legal services authority south i welcome you to the session ma'am thank you so we can start with the session over to you ma'am yeah good afternoon everyone indeed an important topic mediation credible alternative or complement to arbitration we all know that both are the forms of alternate dispute resolution but then before we come to either mediation and arbitration can work parallel to each other like complementary to each other or they are simply an alternative so it's a very like very very intelligent topic which is a very good food for thought it can give it to us but then i need to first i thought that when this the manner in this arbitration act has been implemented in the early years so it actually gave lot of the feeling to the people that it's actually same like court and it's no good than the court so i am going to discuss that first with you second i'm going to take you to the mediation part what exactly is mediation first i do the arbitration and how it has been evolving in our country then i take you all to the mediation and thirdly i do this uh, the top the mediation arbitration and arbitration mediation so how it can function so we begin with this so when we actually came up with this arbitration act there was this um, there was no arbitration culture so it was uh, there was the, the stakeholders were made to join like it was it was not that easy as it looks now like i remember 1996 and it, like they they were actually feeling that it may not work the way it is expected to work so initially there was lack of arbitration culture but we have come a long way with the statutory amendments so from here i take you to the statutory amendments which have been taken place 1996 act you all know so you know like you all have i'm sure because since you are attending the topic and you are hearing it you would have known the 2015 amendment and how the debates and discussions started happening in on over the 2015 amendment act and then came the 2018 amendment act so the basically these amendments were the change in the mindset particularly of the government and because of the purpose behind the act and one was in the change of the legislature and on the other hand we see the judgment of bharti international to venture to balco and the ongc versus saw pipes so different uh, judgments take a different view and we we worked on the same so when you see these judgment i'm going to i'm going to just say this 2015 amendment which when it came it was actually applauded and welcomed by a lot of people and it, we were of the view that it will make the 1996 act more effective and economical but there were certain drawbacks still which existed so we all know what happened in the venture global engineering so which said that when of course the courts how they basically there was a dispute with respect to the institutional arbitration and international arbitration whether the court can venture into the same court cannot venture into the same so it said yes court can venture but then there was a need for an institutional arbitration so we brought a 2018 amendment at that time so this 2018 amendment it's when you see this it actually inserted the eighth schedule to the act and specified the eligibility criteria of the uh, arbitrators and how it inserted that it took care of lot of the aspects which were not earlier taken care of so and it one of the suggestion was there and now it's there it's a special arbit so this act has now come and 2019 amendment also actually the 
there are people who are debating that they still ignored the high power committee recommendations made by justice b and shri krishna so one of the suggestion which i actually feel which is not there but the, it has evolved now from the one amendment to the other has been a special arbitration bar and a special training to the arbitrators so that's a very different because they say the thing it has to be the normal court because it says the civil court rules to be followed so and i've seen like people who are the who who are the lawyers before the arbitrators they have their regular cases in the courts so then the system there's a delay in arbitration proceedings so for this reason the suggestion of mine would be to establish a special arbitration bar so that with that perspective we can have a much focused arbitration and it can actually progress in a way where the the arbitral of the award can come within a particular frame time frame and then it it is it can be differentiated more like the way it has been thought while enacting the act now what has happened is the second i've told you with the this thing the arbitration proceedings so arbitration proceedings during this covid scenario there has been a proper use of technology i shared it with all of you with even during the inaugural session so this advocacy part we all have been taking care of so but we actually need advocates who specialize in arbitration matters and it should not be like i just shared it with all of you should not be a part time job it needs to be conducted on full time basis like judicial proceedings because this kind of confidence that the five star culture which we need to dispel is it's very important for commercial disputes so with that perspective that would be one of my suggestion the next which i take you from the i've told you about a little bit about the amendments then i've told you about the arbitration advocacy i'll just take you to the role of the courts there are a lot of judgments now the amendments also so courts actually should be aiding the arbitration and that's the way so there should be minimal interference and this has been now happening so and it the fair atmosphere so that the there is complete trust and repose in the arbitration proceedings so the need when you see on the aspect namely this the need for court involvement in bringing consistency in the arbitration the obvious way out is to keep the court involvement in the arbitral process to be minimal from the service provider's point of view consider that the court participation is often beneficial and supportive of the arbitration the degree of involvement actually must be carefully considered there must not be enough court there must be involvement only to support and encourage the arbitration which i have already told you and when you see there is this basically i am going to discuss with you it is actually the focal point when the bhatia case happened was on the implied if you see the, the bhatia decision impacted india's position as an arbitration friendly jurisdiction we all know that so because that's not my topic i need not get into that detail you can all read it yourself and these are the basic judgments you should know because my main topic is mediation arbitration and i will be taking all of you to that topic so this basically the bhatia international raised actually considerable concerns with the, within the community within the arbitration community because they applied the our act to the international commercial arbitration situated outside india and thus gave an indian courts an opportunity to intervene in foreign seated arbitrations by granting interim measures and setting aside the foreign awards on the ground of patent illegality so this is one of the things which i wanted to share with you the next thing which comes is the commercial courts so commercial courts have a feeling now we have a different commercial courts i do not know whether all of you are aware or not we made different commercial courts in our court system so as to only progress these cases so that the business because of the regular cases the business and the business of our country the economy of our country need not get suffered so we for those commercial courts and for those commercial things to happen we need a special mindset we need people with particular knowledge about the commercial laws so that's where right now which we need to work on the area so with this background i come to this topic mediation arbitration what it is 
it's basically if you see mediation it's a judicatory versus inquisitorial process you all know a judicatory and inquisitorial process so both are forms of alternate dispute resolution arbitration is a judicatory in nature there are variety of disputes where early solution needs to be rehabilitated and to restore relation so arbitration is and mediation they are not confined to the commercial disputes they can like mediation especially it is not confined to the simple it can also cover matrimonial disputes arbitration commercial disputes investment disputes construction disputes so parties will like to restore and maintain their business relation with each other especially when the contract is still on so adjudication looks when you adjudicate the matter with each other like arbitrators and courts when they do they look into the past as to what happened what was the dispute who went wrong who did what but when you see the mediation like i shared it with all of you during the inaugural session mediation actually looks into the future whatever has happened in the past has happened what is the way forward so let's discuss the way forward a is hurt by b and b is hurt by a both of you may have done mistakes or both of you may not have done the mistakes but what the future lies so mediation gets into that domain and arbitration is like okay a said that he did this this part of the contract and a was right in this same like courts so the trial will happen and everyone will put evidence there will be cross examination so it's in a judicatory form when you talk about mediation frankly the jurist view and the academicians and in fact most all of the legal practitioners these days are uh, one second so all of the practitioners these days they are of the view that mediation is the real access to justice it is not conflict management as understood by the professional groups nor is it the disposal of the cases as conceived by the judicial administrators it is in fact the handling of human relations in a responsive and a positive manner for the good of the people and for the betterment of the community it actually helps when you see when the interaction happens it breaks down the myth and illusion of the court also like this because when the parties outsiders to the legal system when they come to the mediation center they actually feel that the mediator would be like a judge but then they see that it's much more rational and the mediator really helps them find the positive sides of the conflict and make firstly identify those positive sides and secondly make use of them to for the, for further further prospect the development and the reconstruction between the parties so the when you see the mediation the essence lies in the free and fair negotiation between the parties where the mediator is to act as the educator of the law so basically he is like the, someone who is an expert in law so wherever the factual discussion is happening and the party is going haywire so he at times intrude and say this is the law if you feel that you are you've done good and you will do this and this in the arbitration or the court proceedings and you will win so mediation mediator does that also so he, with this knowledge they facilitate the process and also parties themselves also with mutual empathy and understanding of each other situation that also have been is reminded to the parties in the individual sittings which are done with them so mediation the tricks and traps which we say which works in the court functioning or arbitration functioning does not work they do not play a role in mediation no tricks and traps can function in mediation so the conduct also of the parties they become it's very important and it assumes the status of the reality and mediation actually never allows an individual to build up his success by over the adversary so they take the parties society community together towards the harmony so you've now understood with me how the arbitration is same like the court functioning but the only difference is it's quick and so it for and mainly the commercial disputes happen 
mediation i've shared it with you with this i take you to the advantages of the mediation so i've already told you what mediation is and how it happens so mediation addresses the person not just the problem so it address when it addresses the person it actually addresses the emotion which a court of law does not so in the resolution basically even the egos and emotions of the people gets addressed next it puts the parties in control that how to how to go ahead and so it's a very win win situation for both the parties and of course either arbitration mediation any form of alternate dispute resolution it saves the time energy and money arbitration is these days now being considered that it's very very different than uh, uh it's becoming more money oriented and it's not less by any stretch of imagination so that's another way so but then from here right, we actually come to the part the success of the mediation so basically when you see when there is a success in the mediation so the litigants who have approached the mediator and who have been referred by the court they have complete harmony and their bonding has again come back and if the contract is pending they can continue with the contract contract between the parties may be further with the mediation for lawyers it's basically like if you see i feel that mediation is like reminding the messages of gandhi ji so they have this positive attitude and it's a very win win situation for them too and for judges i feel it is actually out of box thinking because as judges are trained they are they are very uh, pro in say looking a versus b so with the mediation they actually see 360 degrees and they are mediation between the parties when you hear the parties informally it gives them a different perspective so the result is all stakeholders and players they become better human beings in the this mediation the form of alternate dispute resolution coming to the side effects can there be side effects you feel any one of you feels can there be side effects the only side effect is that it makes us better human beings it actually con connect us again with re restoring the peace in the society so this is arbitration i've discussed this is mediation in nutshell for each one of you from here i will take you to the parallel functioning of the arbitrator to the mediator so which is also a very different functioning i'll just explain it to you all of you see function of the arbitrator is to settle the dispute between the parties settlement basically means may mean adjudication so the arbitrator gives a binding decision and brings the dispute to an end but that is only one of the possible outcome and not the best one so the arbitrator gives the decision by his own and his or her own understanding so many times what happens is that parties settle their dispute themselves during arbitration proceedings but the arbitrator and the manner in which the proceedings are conducted often play a role in bringing about voluntary settlement so here and i say binding decision adjudication arbitrator arbitration differs from other alternate dispute resolution by the perspective of a binding settlement so by passing the award so it's it's a different way so arbitrator is supposed to understand his role which is not only of an adjudicator but of facilitator as well so under the act india in indian arbitration and conciliation act this role is expected out of the arbitrator so therefore if you see if the function of settling disputes is to be taken seriously by the arbitrator they will be actually receptive to the they will be receptive to the opportunities for bringing about solutions accepted by the parties so neutrality is common neutrality is there in the arbitrator also and neutrality is there in the mediator also 
so it's a, it's a very different way to understand so from this perspective if when you see arbitrator basically has a power basically they it's he impose a decision on the parties but arbitrators feel free to mediate between the parties in some scenario they do it themselves they feel that's the best way so arbitral purity is no virtue so blending the method of arbitration proceedings and in between mediation is an art actually so even during arbitration if you see the negotiated solution for procedural controversies are found by the arbitrators so it is done at times and that's the best way so basically if you see for example i'll just give you example language of the arbitral proceedings so arbitrator basically asks both the parties so they settle on the language which needs to be so that's also a form of mediation and number 2 is take the second example could be whether the expert witness is needed or not so they can settle on that in the arbitration proceedings itself the meeting of uh, basically expenses to so the the parties are arrived at a consensus during these arbitration proceedings so that's also a form of mediation so early neutral evaluation by the arbitrator saying it was a prima facie view not necessarily the final one if disputes not settled and have to go through arbitration at times they do this so what happens is the discussion between the tribunal and the parties about the case whether they include the concrete proposal for a settlement or only highlight the strength and weaknesses of the present case are actually the useful tools to advance the case and helps the party find a settlement i'm sure i'm clear that how the arbitration starts and how mediation at times come into the arbitration proceedings so this is there can be the precautionary the procedural order they can be there by the arbitrator where parties agree to the settlement mediation settlement what happens so in case of the failure of the mediation settlement the talk whether the arbitral tribunal will proceed with the arbitration or not failing the settlement party shall not rely upon the statements made during the settlement talk so because it is not like court an next mediation it is like the arbitrator stepped into the shoes of the mediator both being neutral this he said why not parties give me the terms of the settlement i'll come that with a binding order for both of you so you see arbitrator jumped into the shoes of the mediator made the party settled and passed the order so this is being done and this can be done but the catch is that in mediation exercise the mediator may have formed a view that mediator has failed mediation failed due to the non cooperative or the basically a ego attitude of a particular party and now if it fails so the arbitrator mediator has to who was the arbitrator he became the mediator and now when it fails he has to become again a arbitrator so there comes an element of bias so that's the problem which has been happening so he and he has got gathered some confidential information also from the parties so which may influence his decision making so this role from arbitrator to the mediator shall not be assumed unless both the parties agree what happens when the mediation fails so only then so i've already shared with you that in arbitration mediation same person can act however i feel that the delegating the mediation to the other person would be feasible by the arbitrator tribunal because a the arbitrator tribunal is a very expensive way and ma'am please unmute yourself you are muted yeah so did you mute me because i did not mute myself no ma'am i don't know how you got muted 
So how till where I was audible? Am Just I audible? Yeah, ma'am. So just a minute back, you was not audible. I said till I said just a minute back. Oh great, because I was like, oh where did I till I go? So I was discussing with all of you that how the arbitration and mediation, mediation, they work together when they are complementary to each other. So, but then to me, delegating the mediation is more feasible. But then there is another side to it because your arbitral tribunal may have an expert. And during the mediation, you may need an expert's opinion. So it all depends on the uh, comfort of the parties. So when it comes to the mediation, supposedly the mediation is happening. Now, I, I made you explain arbitration and parallel mediation. Now I take you to the mediation first. And can mediation arbitration happen? First, we discussed arbitration mediation. That can happen, and I have given you the scenario. Now, the mediation arbitration. So when it comes to the mediation arbitration, the mediator and arbitrator should be different. So we have the, in this, the ADR actually becomes like a amicable dispute resolution rather than alternate dispute resolution. So it's a different terminology altogether. So rule provides for mediation, neutral evaluation, or mini trial. Parties can choose any of them. It will depend on the nature of the dispute. So for example, I'll take you where only interpretation of a particular contractual provision is involved. So the neutral evaluation will be more appropriate. So that's there. So in a complex dispute, basically, where the claims and counterclaims, so mediation is better suited, as it could lead the parties to the interest-based solution. So media, otherwise, when you talk about it, the mediation is the most common technique. So the clauses can be modified to, the, to deal with the specific situation. There can be accordingly. So, Advantages, if, I, if you see the mediation agreement between the parties, where mediator is to deliver some product that could facilitate subsequent arbitration proceeding. So that also goes a long way. For example, like definition of disputes between the parties by the mediator, as mediator will be in a position to define when the parties disagree. Identification of issues for arbitration, mediator can do that with the parties. Mediation giving a non-binding opinion on a dispute or a recommendation, that also happens. So with this, I actually took you from the, I'm more looking forward when you see how it functions. So mediation, credible, alternative or complement to arbitration, I actually take it like mediation can work in between arbitration. It does happen. It can work complementary to the arbitration. Uh, it can be there, but it can also be uh, mediation can be part and parcel of the arbitration from the very first go. And even post that the mediation can be there in arbitration. But if you only take mediation and mediation happens between the parties or is being conducted between the parties, there is no saying that yes, Arbitration cannot be a complement then, but yes, in that scenario, it becomes a credible alternative. So this is all which I wish to explain it to all of you. And uh, that's all I have in this topic for all of you. Anything which you wish to ask or anything, because it's a very simple way of explaining it to you, how mediation, arbitration happens and arbitration mediation happens. So yes, please, I'm done. Ma'am, before reading out the questions of participants, I have a few questions. Yeah. What is the future of arbitration in India? Future of arbitration in India is very good, in fact. The arbitration is evolving now because of the like parties themselves. Like I've seen the business uh, commercial parties actually recognizing uh, arbitration as a better way of dispute resolution. And with this new act which has come up and the way it talks about uh, things. There may be still lacunas. There were a lot of debates happening, I remember, when the new amendment came. But then, yes, arbitration has 
is is going to stay in our country and it would be a good way but if you compare it with the mediation of course arbitration is there to stay but then mediation is like mediation happens between everyone it hap it, it used to happen when it happens even between our families like when we after 10 days or 15 days when we discuss things with each other as to who was wrong what did wrong i've often seen like the people who are trained in mediation like when i when i've seen their disputes i've always seen the thing about the future so as a personal thing i would say like if, whenever you get into fight with someone so just have a glass of water and remind yourself what next how the future goes you want to see this person in future or no if you want to see this person in future so what is the way forward rather than getting into the past the blame and things and things so mediator simply works on that level what next so close what has happened but what next so mediation i feel is it's a mediation we even in the court i feel like when we see some parties and when we see and we see how come these parties have managed to reach court why did community mediation did not happen why did any elder in the family did not help them because in our indian community community mediation also works very well they are not binding but people do work on that level so future of arbitration so far as the commercial dispute is going to be there because yes it is the need of the hour because court takes time the court proceedings and now with the new act the dispute settlement within one hour is going to take time and it's 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 a very good act and i feel and there should be a change in the arbitral proceedings now so it's going to stay for long mediation so far as the other dispute goes or day to day things or any little issues mediation is a thing which should be implemented as much as possible so is is there any alternative means for criminal cases like is there any oh very interesting topic i remember when i i was holding criminal court for 3 and a half years in between because now i'm in legal services authority and now also i have criminal court work but then i remember i was there were a few people who used to come especially when the bail matters were listed and they used to come and say madam we want to settle the dispute mm -hmm. and i used to say few cases see there are you all know there's compoundable case and a non compoundable offense in criminal matters so i often used to make them understand that it's a non compoundable case how do you wish to settle it with the party you said no we'll do this in fact i a much heated controversy i will share it with you you would have all seen those rape matters they say they married each other they married each other and they have settled the dispute it actually like if you see from the women empowerment side or something with women related laws so in the criminal matter when you talk about the settlements and mediation you actually especially for non compoundable offense it gives you jitters you don't because offense is an offense right so for compoundable cases like like basically hurt grievous hurt where there is a medical issue or medical injury and the other party has given them enough compensation for future ahead or got the medical treatment so in that scenario it's exact it's actually fine but sir criminal cases yes only to that extent yes so please. india is trying to be become a global hub for arbitration yeah and recently the arbitration act uh, has gone with an amendment of 2019 Mm, true and so they are willing to make a, an arbitration this institution in india ah uh, true they are opening up the gates for them and institute and especially international mm -hmm. commercial arbitration i agree with you it's going to be very good so the new amendment can work in making india global hub for arbitration like uh, as they are working to inst uh, making institutional arbitration just like singapore international arbitration yeah. center that's going to be there that's of course a new thing which is coming up and it's going to be very good because as per section 44a mm -hmm. like there is there are guidelines to set up an arbitration council in india ah true if that yeah. happens then there'll be different arbitration bar in this thing and it could be it's going to be actually a booming phase for arbitration so it is recommended that there should be made like courts there should be hierarchy of arbitration true and true Or not only that, man, they should all in the end they should not become like courts. So the matter, the time for it is stated in the act. It should be. So let's see what happens. But it's a. 
i'm sure the um, the the draft the people behind the drafting are very intelligent and futuristic so let's see how it gets implemented so there is no as such law on mediation and the decisions of mediation are not binding so is there anything like the mediation bind uh, there can be a law, a law can be drafted for mediation procedure yeah, i'll explain it to you i'll explain it to you see mediation it depends where the mediation is happening so if the mediation proceedings are happening court annexed then it is binding the court executes the decree on the basis of the mediation settlement so then it is binding as much as the order of the court basically if elderly of the house is doing the mediation then it's not binding then both people can both the parties can say i am not doing it and they can there can be dispute again community mediation may fail but then when you see the court and next mediation there are a lot of execution petitions filed before the civil court saying that so and so did not execute it especially in recovery cases so when there is a mediation which is court and next the mediation settlement is drafted it is sent back to the court the court draws the decree on the basis of that settlement that this party will do this and this party will do this so in that scenario it becomes fine so in india if you see court and next mediation is working very well and when you are, when you just said that there's no law but there there are rules so there are rules and the mediation centers our mediation centers are in every district court of delhi and they've been made by the high court of delhi and the the rules are there like when the mediation fails between the parties and they come back to us they're very well known the parties know it's confidential this judge sir would never get to know what discussion they had in the mediation center and only one line comes there are proper rules with the, and there are very regular trainings which are convened on regular basis delhi high court mediation center samvidhan is working very well with the team of judges and uh, senior advocates so they are binding and there are rules which are being followed so legislative law if you say yes that's not there but that's actually depends the rules actually depends from place to place so the attitude of the people in delhi would be different from the attitude of people in lucknow so they made rules accordingly and they're very general rules i'm sure even the alabad high court would have made rules on mediation for uh, implementation in their district courts and uh, high court so but then for delhi i'm very sure it's, it exists so can appeal be filed against settlement deed like in arbitration you can appeal for the award no 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 it's not an appeal which is because parties are right at that settlement so it's basically execute if one party does not perform the uh, settlement because nothing is imposed on those parties the parties draw, draw the settlement themselves so it is parties order to themselves ki you do this i do this so appeal lies only when there is by appeal it's binding on both the parties it was their agreement so only if one party does not do it it is there uh, basically execution is fine that's all so i am done with my questions now i'll read out the questions of participants please do please do. yes so mediation is not binding as arbitration then how how is it beneficial for the parties as it is effective means of alternate dispute resolution i think i just we took this uh, like i have explained it to you how it happens which we have just done so if one wants to become a mediator what are the skills that he or she requires oh it's very like it's a very very exhaustive training it happens and the training is so exhaustive like i remember when 10 years back i was given a training for judge referring mediations so and that training was for 3 days and it happened over happened over the weekend friday saturday and sunday and it was only for a judge referring the matter to the mediation it may look like what the judge needs to do judge only needs to say aapas mein baitho and samjhauta karo aur jao mediation center but no the way that exhaustive training happened and it was very exhaustive that one line that nipping the bud with between the parties it works a very important way and similarly for becoming a mediator this is judge referring for the mediation training which i have done for the mediators i have learned that there are like it's a 3 month course or a 1 month course which they do from time to time and they're very well trained so 
but they and and they do it periodically they keep doing it because mediators actually have their own personal concerns and issues also so that the the personal concern of issue of the mediator does not reflect the parties so they do these refresher courses also so i've seen it's a very very the, the expertise of the mediators in india is picking up they're doing very well so is there any uh, value of this imi authority 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 for mediation mediators like there IMI is imi would be what is the full form uh, the institute of mediators it's an uh, international organization yeah it actually see it mediators. all depends it all depends like i'll tell you there is an institute there is a uh, organization in bangalore so there is this uh, delhi is samvadhan there's an international and there is i remember somebody actually went also gyms jams or gyms i've heard in the us so that's also very popular so there are different different institutes different different institutes spreading the training but then yes if you do it from one particular institute training you can do only their mediations you cannot be like you can do international training for yourself but then you have to come back and do your delhi training also the samvidhan training so for samvidhan uh, people to give you cases as a mediator to settle so the training is different as per every institute every institute gets the cases so in delhi we have a very good way we have actually implemented the court and next mediation and it, it is going very well so we have a question since mediation is a confidential process yeah. what legal action can be taken against the mediator if you if he or she misuses the information see it's done misusing no the first and foremost there has to be because every mediation center is manned by a judge also so you have to first and foremost complain against the mediator so there are disciplinary proceedings in the complaint proceedings which are convened against those mediators so it does happen so that's there you don't have to like you just have to complain if you if you are feeling that they are not doing it properly or there is not proper thing so you can always complain about it so the action would be taken fatima rifa i didn't get your question you can unmute, unmute yourself and ask your question yourself if you want to uh, hi good afternoon ma'am good afternoon uh ma'am so i just want to know that so you said that when it's arbitration mediation and when uh, the arbitrator uses uh, mediation in between the proceedings as you said sometimes he can step into the shoes of the mediator so in that sense uh, even after that if the arbitration proceedings continue the same person can be the arbitrator like uh, so the arbitrator my question is whether the arbitrator and mediator will be the same person when it when arbitration is parallel to mediation is it is it uh, the way uh, is it done in reality yes yeah, it's done it's done actually but then by showed you the lacuna which happens so they know he knows lot many things because of the mediation between the parties he knows knows much more because as a mediator you get to know uh, the behavior the things of the party so that's what i discussed with all of you the bias may come in so that oh, okay not the concern You're right. Okay, ma'am. So, ma'am, when it's uh, mediation parallel to arbitration, both mediator and arbitrator should be different persons. Yes, that's actually suggested. But then I also shared it with you that how they settle on the language of the proceedings, yeah. how they settle on the things. So that that that's limited. So the limited role of the arbitrator in settling the things between getting into the terms between the parties, that's fine. But then it is done. It's done. But yes, it's better that it is done by a third party. Okay. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. can adr work in the field of uh, intellectual property rights it has been working in fact i was shocked to know in fact i was reading yesterday that even the tax matters you will ipr tax matters they are they are using arbitration like anything it's not only commercial disputes intellectual property rights matters tax matters and i'm like wow and mediation also in tax matters is going very well it's actually happening i was i was actually taken out to me i was like only this kind of disputes happen but then i and i was like it's happening it it does happen basically so everything is shifting to adr and like litigation oh, not like court if it becomes like court again then what's the point so during the times of covid yeah. when court 
court system has become slow will mediation and arbitration grow or what is the status of adr during these times what oh, is working but you see mediation i was actually taken aback mediation did not start during the proper lockdown but arbitration also for a month everyone was hesitant to not to start but then commercial contracts they then as soon as the unlockdown we started so arbitration started and most of the i've seen like because like i've seen the experience like because uh, at my home also there are arbitrators so i've seen the, like morning like proper my court is going on and even their arbitration is going on so the arbitrations now have started even during the covid time mediation did not start initially and there were a lot of things like how will the mediation function with the video conference but yeah it is difficult because arbitration is adjudicatory you know so it can happen through video conference so mediation you meet the parties so it is little complex but the mediation center is working hard to make sure that the mediation is fructified so these days online dispute resolution has started odr system oh yes it started to the full even the courts everything now the new order of the court if you see i court we are taking regular mat- matters now nothing is uh, and nothing has been no no dates everything is going regularly high court is expecting everyone to go do regular work in front of your screen as much as you can so everyone is doing that so can arbitrate arbitrators can be challenged on the grounds of independence and impartiality should there be any such test for a mediator yeah they do it's it's more of a, like i because i have because i've heard of these occasions they do but then it depends from case to case i think it all depends from the case to case so what are the major loopholes of adr i have already shared it with you the shortcomings i said adr if you say if you see the mediation the conciliation the settlement it just makes you a better human being leaving arbitration aside it makes you a better human being so there no lack like arbitration has its own things but it all depends on actually facts of each case so there no as such like you know adr is a very good mode of resolution uh, system and it should be encouraged my last question what if the parties don't file for execution of the order within 30 days as st- stipulated in the act whether the award passed by the mediator will will have an effect or not see this is a little mixed up person i say that the arbitrator arbitral award being challenged execution doesn't happen it becomes either challenge or execution that's a different domain and that's not my area of expertise mediation also it gets like execution is filed in the court but what if it is not filed no that's no i'm not i've seen in fact that they are coming to the courts even with the application for continuation of delay so it cannot be if the if the settlement stipulates that this is the time you need to perform your thing and it can't be said that there was only 30 days that can never be the approach so maybe i think you've got it wrong the 30 days period so that's that cannot be the concern so anyone and every every officer judge or the arbitrator would love to step in and make sure that it's executed so if anyone else wants to ask any question you can unmute yourself and ask the question after that we'll wind up this session hello hello yeah good afternoon ma'am good afternoon i want to ask uh, what is the scope of uh, young lawyer in this uh, adr sector uh young lawyer you can work very well so i think my voice is uh, going going yeah yes ma'am it's going hello yeah can you hear me now yes, yes. ma'am Ah, so see if you see the like just for young lawyer, it's a very different thing. It's a uh, basically if you see, 
there are a lot of prospects see that's the best thing i encourage students and i say that the law is a very good field exactly if you do it after 12th and you do the five year degree and if you do the five years degree enthusiastically and you take participation in essay competition debates and more courts so you kind of and do internships you kind of learn quite a bit and after that you have like varied of plus like you can even go to intellectual property rights you can go into the science field which is patents you can go to tax you can go to the civil law disputes you can even go to the commercial and you can even go to the this uh, criminal law practice but then when it comes to adr see adr is the need of the hour and as a young lawyer you need to first have a like a basically work with somebody who is actually working in this field and how you get that get that to really be the new art practice you need to really function so once you get the required training you can get a career in the field of it one my last question from you yes Uh, and uh, like everyone is try- unicitral is trying that there should be a common law for arbitration for all the nations uh, so that so Did that there will function well as per the indian scenario sorry you think that will be that will go well with the indian scenario that's that's my question like is it possible for all the nations to draft a common law for arbitration that's, that's like a debate on uniform civil code <laughs> the kind of debate we have on the uniform civil code because there are a lot of uh, customs and different communities in india so similarly i think i take it like that uniform civil code in india for personal laws and similarly so if it happens and it is let's see how it how they make sure so we are done with the session thank you so much ma'am for this insightful session thank it you. is always a ple- pleasure listening to you and now we can end the session Truly, my pleasure, and all the very best for the whole day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Arshu, can you please stop the recording now?